Okay, using Illustrator, um, we're gonna make a robot like this. We're actually gonna trace it and then color it in after the fact. Um, it's important to start a new document. So we're gonna make a new document. It is an eight and a half by 11. Uh, it's in inches. I am going to name this robot. And DPI is 150 is fine, RGB color, hit create. Okay, well, we'll ignore that for now. Um, so here's my workspace. It's important to do this first because if you don't, you just drag the document into Illustrator, it will have no color palette whatsoever. So now I'm gonna go um, place my uh, robot and I'm gonna go place. And there it is. Now I have the option of actually using this because I'm gonna trace it. I'm gonna make this a template. And what that does is it makes its own layer. If I go over to the layers right here, you can see it's um, out of transparency and it's locked, okay? And it starts a new layer right on top of that. So I can work on it above this and um, it, it's really nice. Another thing to look at when you, you click in here is we get more layers. Each time you do something in Illustrator, it's going to make a new layer. All right, so I'm gonna going my, um, let's go window. My workspace here is Essentials Classic. And if I'm not seeing that, I can click Essentials Classic and then reset it. And I should be seeing exactly what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to click on my rectangle and I'm going to go up here to color and it's going to be no fill color, but I do have a stroke color and I wanna make that stroke size maybe like five. Click and drag, there we go. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go and I'll do another one real quick. There we go. Now, because these two are the exact same shape, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna hold the option button down and I'm gonna drag this over and it matches perfectly. Okay, so in order to make a triangle, it's weird because there is no triangle in, um, in Illustrator, I am gonna click the star button. And if I just click uh, double click it or click right out here and not click and drag. I can add just a three pointed star and then go to my selection tool, drag it down. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. See how the arrows turn so I can turn this. If I hold shift, it's going to go in, I think, 15 degree increments. Place it. And I'd put a circle over here, um, but this is going to be filled in. So you have to remember that that's going to be covered up. Let's go into the circle, holding shift to make a perfect circle. And again, I'm going to hold option as it's selected and just move it over. Click here. My fill now is going to be black. If I hold Option Shift, it will start a circle from the direct center, which is kind of nice. Does this have to be perfect? Oh my God, no. Part of this is you want to embellish a little bit of your own creativity. All right, there we go. So there we have the circles. Um, okay, so let's go into this piece here or some of the others. Um, especially like this one, um, you can see how the shape has dropped down a little bit. Let's go to the rectangle, no fill, still have the stroke, click and drag. And you can see here that I need to move these mark this down a little bit. So if I go to the pen tool, and you can see right here the pen tool, which we'll get into. Um, it's got a little star next to it. But when I go on to a shape and I'm on a line, it will add a plus. So if I click a plus, it's going to add anchor points. Those are stop points. And so let's just, I'm going to add a couple of anchor points here. 
And then not using this selection tool, I'm going to use the direct selection. Now notice the parentheses after it. Those are the shortcuts. So if I hit V, I'm going to hit my um, selection tool. If I hit A, it's going to toggle between those two. Look what happens when I use that selection. I can then bring it down and then just hit V. Cool. It overlaps a little bit. I'm okay with that. But I could bring it down just a bit. Now let's say I want to turn off the robot. I want to see what it looks like. Go to your layer and then just um, hide the template. So that's what I'm looking at right now. His mouth is a little weird. That's okay. Maybe I decide to give him a little underbite. Let's even that out. Now, oftentimes what I've found is that most people are over clicking or they're just trying to get the thing done and that's where it gets there. I like that a little bit more. Maybe I'll give them some gold teeth. I don't know. All right. So we've got those here. Let's go ahead and go into the hand. Um, I could use the curvature tool and I could click, click, and then um, see how it arcs right here, click. And then when I wanna make a um, right angle, I double click or square, double click, double click, arc. This takes some practice, right? The cool thing is I can go back and just double click on these pieces and it kind of tightens it all up. And I probably shouldn't even have said anything with this because we're going to do a whole practice on this. But that's one way to do it. I'm going to delete this. Let's go with a, a rectangle. And kind of get the same shape here. And we're going to use our Pathfinder tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make another rectangle. Kind of get it to the same dimensions there, right? Select them both. I just clicked and dragged over them. And I'm going to go to my Pathfinder tool. And the Pathfinder tool is right here. If you don't see it, window, Pathfinder. And I'm going to just look, hold over these. This would um, make both of these merged or I would minus the front. Well, I have a piece on front. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. If I don't like it, I hit Command Z. Okay. So here we have that. And now let's go in here. And you can see I have the pieces to make this a circle. And maybe I don't want that one. I want that one a little more square. So I just double, I clicked it just to select that. Okay. Now I'm not going to make the whole new one there. This is close enough. Let's, as I say that and then do it again. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna go here and select it. And I'm going to just go um, copy. And then I can go, or Command C to copy, Command V to paste. And now it's gonna be It'd be like having two left hands, right? So if I control click, I can then go to transform and it's reflect. And let's move this out of the way. Click OK. What that did is it, it made a mirror image of it right there. OK, so now you're going to keep going in here, making these little shapes. And once we're done, we're going to go ahead and um, color it.